What's up everyone, Vu of Envu Films back with another video. And ever since Peak Design released their travel tripod a few years back, costing like 600 bucks or whatever, and it still to, to this day costs $600. When they released that tripod, they had every single YouTube D-bag tube doucher review that tripod. And fast forward to 2023, 2024, when now all of those YouTubers have apparently quit for whatever reason, many other companies have came out with their own travel tripod variations. And by many other companies, I meant Ulanzi, who has came out with about 18 different travel tripods of various different types of carbon fiber. And they're all great tripods. I have tested many of them. Freewell has just came out with one. Suray has their tripods. They're all fantastic. So although I do feel like the travel tripod market is quite a bit saturated, I don't mind when a company like iFootage releases their own version of a travel tripod. And all in all, this thing is very good quality, just as I would expect from a company like iFootage. I'm actually using an iFootage SL160 b &A. LED light with an intense fire on it and it's just hitting the white wall and coming back to my face. I'll discuss more about that light in another video, but overall, there's nothing to really complain about if you're looking for a travel tripod in this new iFootage Gazelle TC 3B Uprise tripod. And the only reason why I was able to say that was because I was looking right at the name. I cannot remember that. There's no way. And I'm not using a teleprompter. As you can see, which is why my YouTube videos are the biggest pieces of trash on social media. With that said, I appreciate you watching. Please subscribe. This is the best YouTube channel for video and photo content on this planet. With iFootage throwing their name out into the carbon fiber travel tripod uh, game and competing with all of these other brands out there, what are they bringing to the table that is really going to let them stand apart from the rest of these Chinese tripods coming out of the same factory as Kung Pao Chicken? And iFootage is Although they are a UK based company and you will be able to contact, you know, someone from UK probably to talk about any issues you have with your tripod, you know, if you ever purchase one, the tripod is still made in China. So I won't be surprised if they all kind of come out of the same factory, but that does not mean they're bad quality. So this iFootage Gazelle TC3B has some few things going for it. Now separating it from trash tripods like the Peak Design, and the reason why I say it's trash is because it's $600 and there's no fluid head action and it's rickety like a rickshaw back in 1975 Vietnam. I wasn't even born yet and I know how rickety it is because my parents tells me about it. It has a fluid head and a really good fluid head at that. The handle is very thin and uh, well made, nice quality. There's nothing I could really complain about the handle. I think. I handle this thin for a travel tripod is very appropriate. The head itself is spring-loaded, so it does go back and forth. It does come with a little slot here, a magnetic slot for an Allen key. And um, like I've said many times before on other videos for other products such as cages and lap, uh, those magnetic little holders for these Allen keys are not designed well because I lost the Allen key already. So I, and I lose Allen keys all the time that come with these magnetic holders. So there's that. The whole entire industry just needs to figure out how to fix this problem or just stop doing it period if you can't figure it out because I just have a hole here. Okay. So there you have that. It comes with the flip locks, which I like. So it's really easy to just grab all four, extend out the entire tripod like so, push it back, good to go, right? Put everything away. And it's actually very thin as well. And all is well, okay? Carbon fiber, relatively lightweight, just slightly over two pounds. No complaints there. 
it's highlight feature, in my opinion, that is not in any other travel tripod of this size is the fact that it has the spikes built in to the rubber feet. So just by twisting the, the rubber feet, the spikes come out, okay? These spikes are used from when you're walking around the street and some dudes try to jump you and steal your video and photo equipment. That is what they're used for. I'm just kidding. His main primary use is obviously when you're outside traveling, using your travel tripod with your expensive camera and lens on top in sketchy ground situations, such as a stream, dirt, what have you, you could know that you have spikes on your tripod that you could easily expose and stab into the ground. But at the same time, you could also use it to stab that dude trying to steal your shit, okay? Or you just turn on the other way and smack the shit out of them with this side of the tripod right here on the temple. Be knocked out real quick. Subscribe to my bullshitto martial arts channel in the description below. I mean, with that, with that said, I mean, there's not much else I could say about this, you know, other than the fact that it's a very high quality, fluid video head with an appropriate small size, like my junk in the bedroom. It is small, but it is appropriately small and it works. Um, the only downside about this tripod is that it does not get very tall. It could probably interview most average height males at the maximum. So if you're 5'8", five, 5'9 five, and a half on a good day, and you know, you could interview someone who is about 5'8", five, 5'9", five, no problem. Any other non-Asian race will probably be hard to interview because they're gonna be at least six, two, six, three. Good luck to you. So it is a good travel tripod um, because it doesn't get that tall, you know it's gonna be stable. And because it doesn't get that tall, you could do other really quick low angle shots. Like you don't have to do anything crazy to get this tripod at a lower angle because you don't have to remove this other bottom part to extend like some other tripods have. So those are your advantages, okay? Stable, you get low really quickly, you just can't get that, you just can't get that tall. However, the downside is a lot of times I do use my travel tripods to film events, such as weddings. And sometimes on these wedding type of events, you're gonna need to get your tripod higher up, taller. And because it doesn't have that ability, this tripod, in my opinion, is really limited to travel. Maybe, you know, your in-studio talking head or something like that will be fine. In a situation like this where I'm sitting down, it's perfectly fine for that. It's just not good to use for like a run and gun event because you lack that ability to get some height on your tripod. But that is about it. Another thing it has going for it, it is relatively cheaper than some of these other tripods out there. I think right now in the United States, it's around $229 normal price. I don't know if it'll ever go on sale, but I can imagine it being cheaper than that if it goes on sale. So that is the iFootage travel tripod. You have a lot of options these days. If you're looking for a travel tripod and you ask me, hey, Vu, should I get the iFootage one? I say, go ahead, man. The only thing you have to be worried about is you can't get that tall. All in all, it's a nice travel tripod. It's nice and slim. It's not too heavy. It'll fit in your carry-on luggage. You'll put it in here. The bag that it came with came out of another Chinese sweatshop sewed by my buddies, my cousins, whatever over there. And um, yeah, the Gazelle TC3B Uprise. Currently on sale for $229. There is a version that gets taller and it's actually cheaper. I think it's only like $130, $140, something like that. But it's not carbon fiber, but it does get taller and I imagine it being heavier as well. So that one, I believe, is a TC, or I believe that's a TA3B. 
that's another version of it. But if you want the carbon fiber bottle, it's a smaller model, like the true tiny travel model. Anyways, guys, with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope to make I hope to help you make a purchase decision on your tripod. Links are in the description below if you want to buy. If you buy from those links, I will definitely get a commission from it. It will help out the channel greatly. And until next time, lighten up. Hey man, you buy the new DJI Action 4 camera? I might uh, replace my GoPro Hero 11. Oh my god, that camera, it trash. Bro, there's like 6,000 tube douche reviews of the DJI Action 4. The footage looks pretty dang good for an action camera and doesn't overheat. You cannot know if you like the product before you even try it. Are you gay? No, man. How do you know if you never tried it? Let me show you. When I see the guy, my land it like dirt. When I see a girl, my land it like dirt. Oh my god. That's what I thought. The point is, you can know if you like something or not, even if you haven't tried it. Buy my RGB LGBTQ LED lie. Only $29.99.